plenty of traders on our show are talking about artificial intelligence. We are turning to the intelligent Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of WMG for Common Sense. Craig, AI is certainly a mega trend leading the market right now. Well, Angela, sometimes it's been said the best way to invest is to identify a powerful long-term secular trend and just throw yourself in front of it and hang on for the ride. And the reality is when we look at the ever-changing landscape, the landscape that's being developed through innovation that leads to disruption, I think there's several mega trends, some long-term secular themes that just about all investors should be considering for a portion of their portfolio. Artificial intelligence, though, is not the only mega trend. What can you tell us? Number one, how could we not lead the top of the list with AI, artificial intelligence? This idea of generative AI has been so transformative with such incredible adoption in a short period of time. We're talking true S-curve explosion. Now it's reality that we've been talking about artificial intelligence since James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1984, the Terminator. I'm not saying NVIDIA's A100 chip is going to lead to that, but we have to look at how disruptive disruptive AI is going to be in terms of the workforce, how disruptive AI is going to be in terms of the way companies go about handling their daily tasks. And I think owning a portion of the portfolio into AI is just common sense for everyone who's a long-term investor. But all that adoption of AI leads into something else, additional needs for increased spending specifically on cybersecurity. The amount of cloud computing power that's going to be needed for AI leads to additional spends in cybersecurity, and I think that's got to be a part of the strategy. Number three on our list of long-term secular trends, what you call megatrends, you have to think about digital payments. I'm not talking about virtual currency. I'm not talking about Bitcoin here. I'm really focusing on the digitization of cash and contactless payments. I mean, gone are the days of people going to the ATM machine. It is credit card and digital payments. And in the not too distant future, it's going to be mostly contactless payments, aka the digitization of cash and a little bit of credit card. Number four, you got to acknowledge everyone's getting older, but look at the positive ramifications. Look at all of the developments that have been made through specifically genomics, not just biotechnology, but just genomics with these therapies. I mean, look at the progress we've made even on things like type 2 diabetes recently. Genomics has to be on the list. And number five, I call it the Internet of Things. That's all these devices coming together in a communicative form. I mean, think about it. People have refrigerators today that they can hook to their home Wi-Fi system, that they can hook to a digital payment platform that they can use to automatically order milk and creamer when the milk and creamer get low. Should you want to learn more? You absolutely can. Go out to our website investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.